digital world, social media is actually changing the way we consume information, the way we sell in, it's changing the skills and the mindset of the salespeople. Everybody searching for the shortcut to easiest way to do things, which at some extent right thing. Practical inspiration, practical advice. I would say many people say now not why but when, but in reality I will say the breaches happened because it was not proper data management and cyber security strategy in place. In most of cases it happened like that. It might be a number of reasons how that happened. It might be some upset employee who just been fired. It might be just hacker attack. It might be just some enthusiast schoolboy just easily got access to that data through the public search. It might be different ways. But the question is, are we want to talk about why this happened or what to do? I think second one is more important. I think first one definitely started from uh, cybersecurity part to get clear understanding what's happened and what remediation activities need to be accomplished. So to apply necessarily incident response activities, uh, apply a needful fix, involve the partner who can do it for you if you cannot do it out yourself. Number two, to be very clear about your PR strategy, what exactly you say internally in a company and publicly, not to create panic, not to make situation even worse, not to impact what's going on in a topic number one, main remediation, and definitely set the right stage for the future communication for external world, for your customers, partners, consumers, and suppliers. Step number three is clear legal position as well, to understand if you breach any rules, because there is a GDPR in Europe and a similar laws and regulation are evolving all around the globe, to be very clear what's going to happen and be clear what your company will need to do to fit the framework of your responsibility and liability if any regulation being interrupted, if it's been any violence of the regulation.